Thank you for listening. This is Sherry Andrea. I wanted to talk about a little bit about uh, intuition and clairaudience. Um, I often uh, take calls from people. I'll do 20, 30 minute coaching sessions um, that are more like teaching sessions, um, helping them as they're working on developing their intuition. What they're using is they're using both their intuition and their clairaudience. So if you've been working at it and you kind of feel like you still either don't get it or it's something you can't do yet, um, often we feel this way. I remember feeling that way in the beginning. Um, I remember often um, people on forums and message boards um, telling me to meditate on it. And I just, I didn't get that. Um, I didn't get that. All I kept saying was, okay, well, I'm meditating on it, but I'm not getting anything. I, I, the way I describe it today is that meditating on it didn't work for me. Meditation, yes, worked for me. Um, I got a lot of benefits from meditating, but the one thing that didn't happen in meditation for me is that I realized that, um, and I think everyone's different. Um, I couldn't just ask or ponder a question and then go into meditation and come out of it like I got the answer. That didn't work for me. But I'll tell you, even before I started going to forums and message boards and asking for people's advice, um, there was something that was working for me. Just simply putting the question out there and waiting to get it back. That actually worked for me. Um, and I think the reason why it worked for me is because if I tried to meditate to get an answer, I think the reality is that's that I was trying too hard. Um, it's like using any ability. Um, if all of a sudden we think we hear something or see something, what's the first thing we do? Often we'll strain to hear like if we think we're hearing something we'll literally just stop and try to focus that much harder to hear and unfortunately what that does is um it changes like if our brainwave state was lowered and that allowed us to be able to hear something or see something the minute we strained to try to focus harder our brainwave state changed and we brought ourselves right back up out of that place we most needed to be at that was the most conducive for getting something. So by me kind of putting a question out there, I would just ask it out loud to my higher self and my guides, and then I would forget about it. Knowing and trusting that at some point in the next day or two, the answer was going to come to me. And often it did when I least expected it. Sometimes I'd be out driving, pulling up to a red light, and all of a sudden, just suddenly the answer would come to me. And it was easy. Why? Because I was hardly trying. Maybe I was hardly trying, and at the time, I was in a relaxed state. I was relaxed. I wasn't worried. I wasn't trying to focus hard on trying to do it. And so I realized that that's really what I needed to master more than anything is to be able to stay in an alpha state. I mean, it seems easy enough. I mean, if you realize that's the state you need to be in, um, but to actually stay in it when you're starting to get information, it is kind of difficult to not accidentally start trying too hard. So the first thing is, you know, um, if you're not getting anything in meditation, yes, keep meditating because meditation has a lot of benefits. You also need meditation to train your mind to being quiet, to being still, to train your whole self to being in an easily relaxed state. You need to be able to retrain yourself to easily do that. Um, but try something different. And sanity is trying the same thing over and over and expecting different results. Everybody is different. What works for one doesn't work for everyone. So maybe you need to do something a little bit different. Now I also 
want to point out that intuition is about an inner hearing. Um, and what makes it difficult sometimes is that inner hearing is in your own voice. You can't tell the difference often between what is your intuition and when it's just you thinking of something. And often when something comes to you, you automatically think, oh, well, that was just my own mind coming up with that. That's not what I want. I want this intuition that's coming from a higher source. And so you push that away. When in reality, you just can't tell the difference because both you, your mind, and that inner voice that comes from a higher level sounds the same. You have to get to know what is you, your mind, and what is that inner hearing you're looking for. One of the easiest ways to do that is to question yourself. If something comes to mind, before you discount it and say, oh, that was just me coming up with it, ask yourself, do, do I really think, did I come up with that? Do I really think I came up with that? Was I just thinking about it or did it just suddenly pop in my head? Was I actually just now thinking about it? Because often if you question yourself, you'll realize, well, wait, no, I wasn't just the moment before thinking about it. It literally did just come to me. But often, what do we think? No, we don't think that usually. We usually think, oh, I started thinking about it. We don't think that just came to me. We think, oh, that was me. I just started thinking about that. So you actually think that your mind is con consciously had started thinking about that when actually you were getting something. So now what happens is because you just think it's your mind, you brush it aside and ignore it. Unfortunately, that's not going to help your intuition develop more. What will help your intuition develop more and expand and become stronger is you trusting it. It's okay to trust it, even though you may not be absolutely sure whether it's your inner voice coming from that higher level or your own mind. It's okay to make a mistake. It's okay to be wrong. It's not going to hurt anything if in the beginning you're wrong here or there. Let yourself be wrong. You'll develop a lot faster if you can believe in yourself believe what you're getting that'll develop a trust in it it's not going to work if you can't manage to trust it and there's no one unfortunately that can be at your side and tell you oh that one that you just got you can trust that that's real I mean yeah you could try to get validation which you shouldn't need to but yeah, there are ways to get validation. Um, I know people that will, you know, ask another psychic, you know, the question. And then when that psychic tells them the answer and it is what they got, they got their validation. And if they keep doing that, of course, they're going to learn to trust themselves. Um, it might take them a little bit longer because that shows that their level of distrust is a lot higher. It's not going to hurt anything for you to trust yourself. So um, I just wanted to do that short little discussion. Hopefully um, that'll give you something to think about, something to practice, something to work on. You know, definitely if you want to make note of, you know, what this tells you to work on every day, um, definitely it's trust. Definitely, it's considering um, different ways to ask questions. You know, maybe um, a technique you use where in the beginning you just, you know, speak out loud or silently to your higher self or your guides and say, you know, I really want to know this. You know, can you tell me this? And then you just, you wait for the answer to come to you. Whether it takes a few minutes, an hour, a day, two days, you wait. Believe me. It won't be like that for long. I mean, I know you're probably thinking, well, geez, 
I'm supposed to always ask a question and wait two days for the answer? No. It will speed up. The more you trust it and the more you listen to it and you get used to listening to your inner self, the amount of time it takes you to get an answer will speed up. And before you know it, you'll be getting answers right away as soon as you ask the question. It's just that you've got to get there. You, you know, I, the saying, you've got to crawl before you walk. So just consider that this is me saying you have to crawl just a little bit before you walk with this. Definitely, absolutely, though, meditate every day, even if only for 10 minutes, meditate every day because it will help this process. But do me a favor and meditate without expectation for one and do a passive meditation at the least. I mean, if you want to do an active meditation where you take a walk and you call that your meditation, that's fine. But still. At least once a day, do a passive meditation for at least 10 minutes where you're doing nothing, thinking of nothing, but just sitting there with your eyes closed or focusing on a spot on the wall or something. Do a passive meditation. It is the passive meditations that will really help you a lot. Um, if all you're doing is active meditation, sure, it will still have its benefits. However, when you're talking about developing intuition or developing one of the clairs, um, you really need to be doing a passive meditation at least once a day. Um, you know, you, you may not believe it right now. You may kind of feel right now like active meditation is good enough, but just at least give me the benefit of the doubt and try it for a week or two and then tell me if you see a difference. Okay, well, I appreciate you listening. This is Sherry Andrea. You can, if you would like to read some of the things that I've written on subjects like subjects like this, you can visit SherryAndrea.com. Or um, you can also sign up for the membership site if you would maybe like to meet other people, uh, have things in common like, you know, like you're into, uh, whether that's healing, um, developing psychic abilities, uh, spiritual advancement, uh, law of attraction. You can sign up um, on the membership site, which is sherryspeaks.com. Um, and that's S-H-E-R-R-Y, like the wine. And also there is a new forum. Um, it's forum.sherryandrea.com. And I look forward to maybe talking to you in the future, hearing about your journey, hearing about your experiences, and if um, I'm always open to doing, um, if I'm available, doing, you know, readings 20, 30 minutes or coaching sessions. Uh, so feel free to go to the, one of the websites and contact me. Thank you and have a great day. Namaste.